Hello, and welcome back to Educator.com AP World History. We're again in period four, and we're going to be discussing religious growth and change during this period. And you remember that the period is 1450 to 1750. And here are the things that you are expected to remember and to understand about religion in this period. And it's this, that there, there was an expansion of religion and it moved further away from its uh, starting points, that these religions we're going to talk about have been around for a while and there's going to be some changes that take place and uh, people are not going to feel that these changes are all good and they're saying we, we need to get back to basics, we need to reform ourselves. And there will be syncretism involved, syncretic results. So those are the three things that we're going to talk about. First of all, we have Islam. And Islam is going, it spread doesn't stop. And, but one of the things that we are going to look at is the Sufi group. Now, if you remember, uh, Sufis are kind of like the Pentecostals of Islam. They're uh, interested in meeting God one to one. They want to feel God's presence. And so they have practices that enable them to do that. And here you see um, uh, whirling dervishes, which are, is a Sufi practice. And these uh, men turn, you know, turn around and around and around. And in that way, they say they feel God's presence. And by the way, this place right here is Rumi's tomb. And Rumi is one of the most famous and important of all the Sufis. If you go to a bookstore today and look up Rumi, you will see books by Rumi that you can buy. Uh, a great Sufi uh, of, of, of this time. So, uh, we're going to see the spread of Sufism and adaptation. Uh, adaptation. Uh, here we have a, a Sufi saint's um, tomb in West Africa. And you'll notice that the, the dome is very similar to what we saw in Rumi's. But the whole picture here is of, well, this has been mixed with West African ways of building things. So, and this is an example of Yes, Islam moves into new areas, but it doesn't stay exactly the same. It picks up some of those people's culture and ways. And we're going to see the Shia and Sunni division become very, very uh, strong and, and um, contentious. I have a, a map here showing where the people are mostly uh, Sunni, and that's the green portions, that's Sunni. And these uh, reddish portions, that's Shia. So you can take a look at that and you can see that there aren't as many Shia as there are Sunnis. And let's take a little closer look. <clears throat> 